Okay, so looking at this picture, we see a person standing on a cliff. So what we're going to talk about is kind of an introduction into things or objects that are thrown from a cliff. Now, basically what it means when, when I say introduction of thrown from a cliff is that anything that is only going to have a uh, horizontal velocity to begin with. So this could be anything thrown from a cliff. This could be dropped from an airplane that's moving at a constant velocity in the X direction. Um, this is just anything that does not have um, an initial velocity in the Y direction. Now there are a few things that we have to know about it. Uh, when something is thrown off a cliff or dropped from an airplane or something like that, what we'll notice is that we already have um, some variables that we have to know. Now in the X direction, in our Y direction. Now in our X direction, usually what they, this will give us a velocity and remember that, that velocity is constant throughout. Okay, in the Y direction, we know that we have our acceleration. We always have it. It's 9.8 meters per second squared. Okay, negative because it's pulling us down to the ground. Okay, now what we're going to look at here is what we have when it's thrown off a cliff is we have an initial velocity in the y direction of zero meters per second. So we do have an initial velocity and it's going to be zero. Okay, those are the things that we need to know uh, when something is thrown off a cliff or dropped from an airplane. It's just things that we have to remember because we need them when we're working out problems.